So after Donald Trump's recent victory in the election and seeing that he's going to be coming back to the White House, many, many people have, among other questions, what do we foresee, what do we hope for will be uh, coming about in the Middle East? What will be the foreign policy? What will that look like? So check out this video from Douglas Murray, who uh, kind of gives his uh, layout of what's, what's to come next. What happened this week with the election result not only changes everything in America, but changes everything in the Middle East. It can't be stressed enough the Biden-Harris administration devoted much of its, em its energies for the last year in trying to get regime change where? In Jerusalem. They did everything they could, from Chuck Schumer to Kamala Harris to all of them. It was about trying to get Benjamin Netanyahu out of power. If, if, if the White House in the last four years, and particularly in the last year, had spent one-tenth of the time it spent trying to get regime change in Jerusalem uh, on to doing regime change in Tehran, the mullahs would have fallen by now. Uh, the, the threat in the Middle East, the intransigent part, is not Netanyahu. The intransigent bit is Hamas and it's backer Iran, the revolutionary Islamic government. They're the ones that are still holding Americans hostage. They're the ones who are still holding more than 100 people hostage in Gaza. They're the ones that refuse to have a ceasefire. They're the ones that have refused every ceasefire negotiation for the past year. The war could have been over a year ago if Hamas had given up. Instead, it has been decimated. Hezbollah is being decimated. But the crucial thing is the head of the snake. The head of the snake is the revolutionary government in Iran. It's now naked. Its air defenses are taken out. It's, it's the Iranians' turn to do the tit for tat now to Israel. If they do, when they do, the response from Israel, I hope, it doesn't need military backing, but with the agreement, with the approval of the United States, the response of Israel this time should be to take out the nuclear reactors, take out the oil fields, topple the regime, as far as I'm concerned. That is the thing that is stopping peace in the region. If you get rid of the mullahs, you can have a peace deal across the whole region. He's absolutely right. It is the mullahs in Iran that are preventing peace from being achieved across that entire region. And so with the United States is backing, not military backing, but their backing and support of Israel, Israel, God willing, will uh, take over and have regime, regime change in Iran. And uh, that, will, that will alleviate, that will cut the head of the snake off. Uh, alleviating a lot of the tension that goes on in that area and uh, facilitate, God willing, that there should be peace across different countries, that everyone in those regions, everyone in those countries should have a, a good, happy, and prosperous life.